If you're looking to learn more about mods, shaders, texture packs, and all things related to Minecraft to making it better, start now by subscribing and clicking that bell. Hey guys, I'm Dee from DAB Works, where we make content on the best mods mixed with shader packs and texture packs, letting our computers suffer so yours doesn't have to. All right, so the mod of the day is Chunk Animator. And in the description of this, let me just explain to you what it is. When the chunks are loaded, as you can see, they're happening on the video right now. The chunks are loaded in vanilla. They are simply appear in instantly. With this mod, you can animate them and make them appear from below, above, from the sides, and all things nice. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. This mod shouldn't impact the FPS or the frames per second, if you wanna break it down, considerably because it is also just a render and the chunks are coming from somewhere else. So let's get first into how to install it. Now, if you already know how to install mods, you guys can skip ahead to the next timestamp. But let me just help you out. If you don't know how to get this, let me explain to you real quickly. All right, install this real quickly. And then how to use it, because I don't see any you know, videos showing how to use it. So this is the chunk animator over here. It's got all the things that I've actually been told in the video right over here and um, some videos. But let's go into the main thing over here. Let's go into file. And let's go see what they've got over here. So you're going to go into the top one. So this is a 1.16.5, which is recommended one that you should have. Let me just make sure I'm recording. Okay. Then you go into the 1.16.5. So files, 1.16.5. Or this one over here is the most recent one. So you click download. Uh, I'll download it again for you guys. I'll do it. So it goes into the screen over here. And then it's going to say, okay, your download will begin in... Well, sure, I can't speak. Your download will begin in 3 to 1 and then say keep because I guess it's not harmful. Then it's going to be over here, right? And then you're going to go into your downloads and you will see it over there. All right. Next thing you want to do is control C that or copy. If you want to go old school, we can go right click and copy. All right. Then you're going to go over here or open another one. Uh, let's go in this one over here for, for instance sake. And um, let's go to percentage app data. Present it. All right, and then you know, pop it in there. Then you're gonna go into your Minecraft over here. Then go find your mods folder. Now you have to have Optifine that will allow you to have all this on here. So if you don't have that, guys, it's really easy to get uh, Optifine. Just search Optifine, download it, install it, and that is how you get it. <laughs> okay, I'll make another video on how to get Optifine, but it's pretty easy. Then you're gonna go into your mods over here, and you're gonna drop it. I already got it here. So, but if you really wanted to, you just drag it, and then pop it over here but it's gonna chew me i've got one already so yeah all right then that's done all right now the next thing you want to see if it's working all right let's go into my yes i do use t launcher aren't you surprised <laughs> and uh let's go and open up that i'm gonna speed this one so we're gonna go okay forge optifine let's run that so i can actually see my skin because single world i've already got this one over here so let's go into the new world um i just made this for this video so you're going to go and you're going to jump into the video on your... So you're going to jump into a world over there and uh, we're going to have a nice lag. Great. That's how we start the world, isn't that? Great. Now, so you jump in here and you're like, all right, let me show everybody how sick my... What the hell? It's not loading. What? That? That's just normal toasted chunks right there. Look at that. That is not cool. Now, the problem is you didn't read the fine print. The fine print says that you need to go into your config options you want to click on video settings, performance, and then your render regions off. Boom! Do you see that happen? Let's go check that again. Boom! You see that happen? Now that's when you know it's working. All right, click done. Now when you go back into your game, you can you can bring down the, if you really want to see it more, bring down the, the render like that. And then you can definitely see it faster instead of running all the way into, into the distance, but it really does pop through. Oh, the, so the mobs don't obviously don't work with that. <laughs> they loaded weird, but yeah. And what you can do also, you can go options, resource pack, and put in some of the dramatic skies on that. And then that should make it look a little bit more better than just no no sky at all. Like that. And it looks pretty cool, actually. Um, so now, you remember that I, you know... You remember that I said there's going to be different animations that you can put in with it. But where are they? They're not in the config file. How hardcore is that spacebar press? <laughs> All right. And then I'll conf so you're like looking around. You're like, what is going on? I can't find a hack. I can't find it actually how to. How do I change it? I'm going to show you right now. And this is going to be the hacker mode. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, this is just how you're going to do it. So you're going to go like this. Don't, don't have to quit. It's okay. Just press out. Now go back into your app data data. 
all right and now you want to go into your here and you want to go into minecraft all right just like we found the mods here go into your configs and that's not it you got you're gonna have a couple if you've got a couple mods running so i'm gonna go into config sorry and then you're gonna go look for chunk animator make sure it opens with notepad and this is where you get your your hackers mode on so you see the mode over there make sure it is zero zero means they come from the bottom i haven't actually tested all of them so one if you just go like that and you click save make sure you save otherwise what's the point of changing it then go back in here and now they should run a bit differently oh geez <laughs> yeah they do they come from the top um and oh there's lava falling on my head that's crazy um this one's a bit intense for me i must say that this with the shaders pack it, it looks quite intense look at those animals just low <laughs> just there we go um okay let's go see what else they have so we're gonna so yeah, my OBS was being weird and didn't record any of that. So I'm going to re-record that. So this is obviously the next one. We're going to go just wait for my OBS to be slow and laggy. All right, now we're going to go here and then go open the config file like I showed you. So there it is, config. And we're going to go in there and then you're going to change that from one. We're going to go, let's see what two's all about. So let's jump into two. So when I'm switching between, you know, not in-game and in-game, it does take a bit of time with the black screen and all that. I'll try and add some pictures to it. All right, so now they are kind of just, let me just get the time looking. So it looks a bit lighter so you can see what's actually going on. So let's put daytime. All right, it's a bright sun. All right, and now they're falling from the top. And yeah, we've seen this one before. It's 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 cool, but um, look, I, I still think zero is the best for me. So let's go change. Sorry, let's go change into the next one. So let's wait for a bit. Sorry, guys, it's OBS. And now we're going to try out three. So let's see what mode three is save all right jump back in wait for it to load all right now we on this one so let's see what this is so they they're literally flying in like uh that scene in the matrix where um they ask neo what do you need i need guns lots of guns guns lots of guns That's what the scene looks like right right now. Uh, the, uh, the young John Wick. Well, it was pretty cool. So you can just fly around. And um, yeah, it, it can look like, you know, Space Invaders kind of thing. <laughs> if you go really fast, then uh, see if you're going to crash into a mountain or something like that. Let's try the next one. Let's see what other animations they have here. So let's go and change that to a four. And so it goes to zero and four. So this is the last one they can do. And this is what it looks like. Give me a second here. There we go. So they are coming from all the sides and kind of just filling up really quickly. And look pretty cool. I, I think, like I said, I, I still agree with the zero being the best for me. So you guys can let me know in the comments below what's your favorite one that you like. I like zero. It, it loads quite cool. Oh my goodness, guys. So I've been editing right now and I realized that I forgot to tell you a really cool part of this. And that's you can also change the animation. So you click on this little thing right here in the Curse Forge. And you click uh, over here to leave a third party. And then you get this thing over here. So it's ease out, ease in. And you can kind of just change your own animations. You're going to click on them. And here's the code that you're going to pop into your uh, notepad. Where I showed you where you change the things. And then it will change your animations. Which is freaking cool. So yeah, that's a little extra thing I wanted to tell you guys about. Sorry about that. Okay, carry on with the video. Alright guys, so if you guys like the video, you can click on this video over here to see more videos like this. I'm doing mods, I'm doing cinematic things, I'm, I'm doing everything on Minecraft. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and check out the other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next mod of the day. Peace guys.